Hello and welcome. A new case of probability distribution. And in this case, the information about probability is in your non numerical form or semi numerical form. As we know that in case of a probability distribution, the summation of all the probabilities is always 1. So, summation of all these factors is 1 that we know. Therefore, 1 equals to summation of this and that is 9k plus 10k square. Therefore, 0 equals to 9k plus 10k square minus 1. Let us arrange in order. 10k square plus 9k minus 1 equals to 0. So, 10 into 1. 10k square plus 10k minus k. Plus 10k minus k will be equivalent to 9k minus 1 equals to 0. Let us take 10k as common. Therefore, 10k means k plus 1. Let us take minus 1 as common factor. Minus 1 divided, minus k divided by minus 1, k minus 1 divided by minus 1 plus k. That means either... 10k minus 1 over k plus 1 is 0 because multiplication of these two is 0. Multiplication of these two can be 0 only if any one of these two is 0. Therefore, either 10k minus 1 is 0 or k plus 1 is 0. But we know that k equals to minus 1 is not possible. Because k is a probability and probability can never be negative. So the only option with us is 10k equals to 1. Therefore, k equals to 1 by 10. Therefore, k equals to 0.1. Now, we have the value of k. So, we can easily form the probability distribution as x1, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7. And now, p of x will be 0 as it is. K means 0 0.1, 2K means 0 0.2, again 2K means 0 0.2, 3K means 0 0.3, K square means 0 0.01, because square of 0 0.1 will be 0 0.01, 1 by 10, the square will be 1 by 100, so 0 0.01. 2K square will be 0 0.02, 7K square plus K, 7K square will be 0 0.07, plus K means plus 0.1 so ultimately it will be 0.17 and the summation must be 0 0.5 plus 3.8 plus 0 0.03.83 plus 0 0.17 that is 1 so it is verified now the remaining two columns x into p of x and x square into p of x to arrive at the e of x as well as e of x square and then only we can calculate variance and standard deviation. x into p of x, 0 into 0, 0, 1 into 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 2 into 0 0.2, 0 0.4, 3 into 0 0.2, 0 0.6, 4 into 0 0.3, 1.2, 5 into 0 0.01, 0 0.05, 6 into 0 0.02, 0 0.12 and 7 into 0 0.17, 1.19. And the summation comes to 3.66. This summation is sigma x into p of x and that is nothing. It is e of x. Now x square into p of x. x square into p of x means x into x into p of x. 0 into 0, 0. 1 into 0 0.1, 0 0.1. 2 into 0 0.4, 0 0.8. 3 into 0 0.6, 1.8. 4 into 1.2, 4.8. 5 into 0 0.05, 0 0.25. 6 into 0 0.5, 0 0.25. 7 into 0 0.5, 0 0.25. 8 into 0 0.5, 0 0.25. 9 into 0 0.5, 0 0.25. 10 into 0